Hello, thank you for joining me. It's a summer's evening. I'm at a railway station in Germany. It's June 2024 and we're going to go and visit one of the last real steam sheds there is in the world. Now, as for steam trains, they stopped running on Britain's main lines in 1968. They continued in a few places for industrial use, but it's been a gradual decline. And today, there's lots of heritage and museum steam operations in various shapes and sizes, but there's very few places now where there's actual genuine steam running every day. And okay, where are we going to? It has a lot of tourists, but it's never stopped running. It's always been there. It's always run and it really has the atmosphere of a steam shed. You can just go and walk right up to and be in the presence of steam workers. Now this is the standard gauge railway. You may have guessed where we are, and you, or if you come here a lot, as a lot of British railway if you just do, you may recognise the station. This is Venigerode in the former East Germany. So that's the standard gauge lines because we're going to go and look at the meter gauge platforms next door. That's where this steam operation works from. So they run steam trains up to the Brocken and to various other parts of the Hartz railway network. It really is a regular. It's, it's real steam. People use it. Locals use it. Yes, a lot of tourists come here, but it's not just tourists. We have to go through here. So we leave the main part of the Hoff by the Hoff. We go through here. That's where you buy your ticket. It's um, The trains have stopped running, or at least um, there's not many more steam trains up the Brocken. That's the main destination. You get the odd train. There is some rail cars, so it's not 100% steam. There's some passengers just walking down the platform. They've just come off the rail car so that there's still a few other trains out running but what we're going to do you may just be able to see it's a bit hazy that is the smoke from the coal of the steam locos we're going to go and see this real steam shed i'm just thinking of other places um you know in 2024 where there's real steam at the beginning of the year in january there was still daily steam in china that's finished the the one place where there is still industrial steam, and it's not too far to go to, is Bosnia Herzegovina. I went there fifth in 2015, and I'm really pleased to say I did witness some real steam, both on standard gauge and narrow gauge. It was you know, seeing a Kriegslok, an uh, ex-German Kriegslok, pulling out of a coal mine with 20 wagons of coal. It was a lit image living very much after its day, but you know, I'm, I'm glad I went to see it before it faded for the last time. But what we have here, Whilst that steam probably will finish at some point, this steam will keep going because people come to Venegroda and Hartz Mountains to see the steam operation. These are the carriages. Look, they can run these nice long trains. It'd be steam, genuine steam. This is the shed. Now there's a few steam locos inside the shed. I can just see the smoke coming across. So we're gonna go and um, have a look at them. And it is, the Hartz is a fantastic place you've got to come here if you like railways you have to come here at least once in your life because it's really quite an amazing place now uh, you probably waited all this video to see the steam train so this before i turn the camera and show you most of my videos involving steam trains either i'm doing this and we might find the odd plinth one but most of my videos where steam is stationary it's a it's a plinth floco it's not doing anything but then a lot of my videos i'm capturing the action whether it's on are many heritage railways or mainline steam. Like I say, it's great there's so many heritage railways, great there's mainline steam, but you don't get a real steam shed in many places where there's atmosphere like this. This is one of the last steam sheds there is. Look at this, you've got three locos sat outside the shed, all of them in steam. There's others in the shed. You can just hear sort of slowly hissing away. This fantastic smell of coal. It's just, just to me, this is like one of the most amazing places there is. I've been coming to the Hearts for quite a few years now, and this trip today, this is my first night here, and for me, I see it as a, a ritual that whenever I stay in the Hearts after dinner, I have to come down to the steam sheds to see this image, because like I say, you just don't get anywhere like this. Probably the only other place I can think of perhaps in Britain where you can see a steam shed a bit like this is at Seven Valley Road at Bridge North. You can stand up on the bridge, you can walk down, you'll see the locos, and, which is great, but it's not an all year round operation. There'll always be steam locos there, but not necessarily 
in steam, it's pretty much guaranteed when you come down here, there will be locos in steam at whatever time of the year you, you visit. I've only ever been here in winter before. It's my first summer visit to the Hearts. The Hearts in winter is fantastic. You know, you've got, well, up there is the Brocken, which um, will be going up. I've been up there. I've not seen it without snow, put it that way. I've only ever seen the Heart, um, the Brocken with snow on the top. So these steam locos, they work daily trains up to the Brocken, but the first part of the journey runs through the streets of Venigroda, or around the back street, should I say, of Venigroda. It does cross some roads. There's even a bit of street running. It's a brilliant journey, and it makes its way up through the forest. And you will get locals getting on and off, and you do get, as a curiosity, tourists coming here to enjoy steam. But, I, you know, I just think this is amazing that it exists. It's another thing that's changed since I last... Well, since I first came here, if you look, some of the tracks are dual gauge, some of the tracks are standard gauge, but I don't think you, well, you can't, I can't see how you get a standard gauge local in the shed now, because the turntable is now just meter gauge, it used to be dual gauge. This is, um, this little rail car, to the steam enthusiasts, it might not seem so exciting, but it's kind of a hero as well, because it's the rail cars like this that have effectively you know, helping to keep the system running. So they can run on the less economical trains. This can run. I'm going to have to try and have a ride on it because it looks quite sort of charming. They can run this and, you know, uh, it just helps subsidise the system because you can go all the way to Nordhausen. Um, I, ha I did once do, with this loco here, now this is a bit of an interesting one, 99222. That's an older one. Whilst these ones date from the 1950s, She's a lot older, I think she's dates from 1930s. I, I did once ride her, travel behind her all the way to Nordhaus, and, and yeah, that was a great trip. Now I came back by standard gauge steam, because that was, um, it was on charter. But that was, you, you'll, you'll also get charters here. These are like the mainstay, these locos here. You, you sometimes see the mallets out. I've seen the mallets running um, yeah, before. I remember I was here once before and the mallet was out, so I, I was sort of excitedly coming to the shed, watching the mallet come in and out there coaching shed is somewhere else it's uh well as you go out of Venegar Road the line turns to the left and heads up to Vestentor that's where the main workshops are that's where they'll overhaul these locos and there's a branch line that goes off to the carriage shed so I'm not sure if this little rail car will go down there and there are there are some ex-standard gauge diesel locos I could just make out one in the engine shed I'm just going to finish by taking you down here because I think we should like I say this rail car might not be the most interesting to most people, but it's kind of a hero in its keeping the It's going, I just want to have a look, because, yeah, um, cool. It's it's quite basic. It's, it's even even got a toilet, I'm not sure. No, maybe it's not a toilet. Oh yeah, yeah there's a frosted glass window, so it has got a toilet. So, you know, it's, uh, it's got its own place in railway history. There's been various other rail cars over the years, but they're not necessarily all running, but this one obviously is, it's just been out. You can have a look down there. Now here, you are not really supposed to do this, but technically you can sort of bunk the sheds. Going through. I'm just going to stand here because there are people there, I don't want to upset them. But yeah, you can, if that wasn't there, just make you the steam locos. There's the control tower for the works. So, um, I think there we are. I have shown you a genuine, real steam shed in 2024. There's not many left, like I say, there's some in Bosnia, it's not so easy to just go and look at the sheds though. If you hang around long enough in Bosnia, you know, you, you can still see industrial steam. If you go to the Dresden area, not too far from here, there's steam trains there, there's a few heritage lines. There's lots of museum steam in that area. There's, there's a few, I say heritage lines, I mean lines a bit like this, not heritage lines, lines that run every day of the year, smaller gauge. So there's a few steam operations there, but there's not many places, or one other odd place where I, witnessed genuine steam a few years ago it was Ljubljana power station I saw a fireless loco something there but there's not many places like this and this is what I think makes Venigoroda such a special place and somewhere like I say if you're interested in railways you've got to come here you have to have you know you've got to have come here once in your life like um you know there's lots of good stuff in the UK and I'm not knocking stuff in the UK but you have this is a real genuine steam shed I think I've made my point a few times now so I'm just gonna leave you with the view of the steam shed but do come and visit the hearts thank you very much for watching I'm looking forward to a few days of riding behind these steam locos 
just coming down here and spending time in the presence of the steam lockers. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment on from one of the last real genuine steam sheds in the world. Goodbye.